Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our SEC football predictions today, and today's team, the Arkansas Razorbacks. to Raleigh, and then Raleigh tosses it into the end zone, and it's caught by Cantrell. All right, so I'm very happy to introduce our guest Razorback analyst. He and I worked together on these predictions, and we all agreed on them. So please welcome our Razorback analyst, Carter Galbraith. He's here to help us uh, predict the Razorback schedule. Thank you, Alex. All right, glad you could make it. So uh, Arkansas opens up the season against Florida A&M, an easy cupcake win. So they're going to start off the season 1-0. At least we hope they beat Florida A&M. We've seen what else has happened against teams like ULM and Toledo. Uh, then they take uh, take on TCU in Fayetteville. What do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, it was a really close game last year. They went into double overtime. You know, it was at TCU. Uh, the TCU's returning 17 starters, including senior quarterback Kenny Hill. Um, I have a feeling that Arkansas is not going to let them have revenge in Fayetteville. I feel like Arkansas is going to get that win. I agree with that for sure. Arkansas, uh, led by quarterback Austin Allen, one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC, probably behind uh, Alabama's Jalen Hurts. But <clears throat> So they get a much needed bye week going into the Texas A&M game, which is at Jerry's World. We just predicted Texas A&M. Um, you know, Arkansas has not beaten A&M since 2011. They have not beaten them since they've joined the SEC. I think that streak, like I said earlier, will end this season. Um, you know, I feel like Arkansas's offense is going to be much improved, even with the loss of Raleigh Williams. Their offensive line is going to give Allen a bunch more protection, which was one of the issues last year. Uh, and I think they will get the win at uh, Jerry's World. So Arkansas does open up the season 3-0, and um, I believe they'll open up the season 4-0 and as well with a win over New Mexico State. Um, soon they take on South Carolina on the road. Uh, South Carolina is going to be a much improved team in the SEC, led by Will Muschamp. Uh, they've got a great defense. Offense has definitely improved from last season. They gave uh, South Florida a run in the bowl game last year. I think Arkansas loses that game at South Carolina. That's a tough place to play. So then they go to Alabama the week after in this key three week four-week stretch. Excuse me. Uh, what do you have to say about that, Carter? Well, if you didn't know, Arkansas hasn't beaten Alabama since 2006. and that, That's a long time span. It's 11 years. It's at Alabama. You know, Jalen Hurts, like he said, is one of the probably the best quarterback in the SEC. And it's again, it's at it's at Alabama. I don't feel like Arkansas can get it done. I agree with that. It's hard to beat Bama anywhere. Uh, so then Arkansas takes on Auburn. Uh, last year, if you remember, Arkansas lost at Auburn 56 to three, one of the worst performances I've ever seen by a college football team, maybe in history. They just didn't get off the bus. That was pretty embarrassing. So they take on Auburn at home. I think Arkansas is hungry for some revenge. I think they are a much improved team. I think they will get the job done at home against a difficult Auburn team. Then they travel to Ole Miss, uh, you know, a team that doesn't have much to play for, like I've said. They, they're on that one-year bowl ban. What do you have to say again about that game? I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, it's the first time Arkansas is going back to Ole Miss after the Hunter Henry lateral, which kept Arkansas in the game on a 4th and 25. I mean, Ole Miss, again, does not have much to play for. I feel like Arkansas is going to go in hyped up um, and just going get to get a win. All right. I agree there, too. Coastal Carolina, an obvious uh, easy win going through that last three-week stretch in the SEC. Everybody gets those types of games. So then they travel to LSU. What do you have to say about that? Well, you know, last year, Arkansas, they had LSU at home. LSU just... I mean, I don't even like talking about it. It was a terrible game on Arkansas's part. Darius Geis ran all over them, um, as well as Leonard Fournette. But I feel like it, it being at Death Valley, I don't feel like Arkansas is going to be able to get it done because LSU is also going to be hyped. I mean, it's a battle for the Golden Boot. I don't feel like Arkansas is going to be able to get that win. Yeah, I, I, I agree with the same thing right there. Uh, it's a tough place to play, Death Valley. And LSU under Odron, as you saw in our previous predictions, they're going to be a much improved team, I think. Uh, so then they have Mississippi State at home. 
Uh, I think that's going to be a close game, uh, but Arkansas will uh, get that game because uh, one, being at home, and two, their defense has improved. They beat Mississippi State last year in a shootout, 58 to 42. Nick Fitzgerald, as I've said, I've been praising him throughout these videos. He will give Arkansas a challenge, but the defense will figure him out. Arkansas will get the win there. And then they close out the season with Missouri the day after Thanksgiving, and I think they will beat Missouri there despite their 24 uh, 24 point lead uh, blown last season. What do you have to say about that Missouri game? I think they get the win. Yeah, Arkansas is going to be hungry for some revenge. I mean, last year was a disappointing loss. Um, the last game of the season. Um, I feel like Arkansas is going to want revenge on Missouri for the way that they played last year, and they want to play better, so I feel like they're going to get that win. All right, which means they get the trophy back in that uh, borderline rivalry, which means Arkansas will finish the season with a 9-3 and record, three losses in the SEC, so it's about average, but after you've seen some of the other SEC West teams fare, they could end up being a top three SEC West team uh, behind Alabama. You'll just have to wait and see what our final predictions are uh, in the West. Uh, Carter, thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad you were able to be on set and, and uh, predict some Razorback games with us. And go Hogs. Yeah, thank you. That was go Hogs. All right, guys. Uh, make sure to tune in next time on the Gridiron Expert. Please leave a like, comment, and make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.